This is Matthew Robert Payne and this is a, a command called Pray to God the Father. Um, we take up a scripture in John 16 uh, verse 23 and 24 and it says And in that day you will ask me nothing. Most assuredly I say to you, whatever you ask the Father in my name he will give you. Until now you have asked nothing in my name. Ask and you will receive that your joy may be full. You know, um, Jesus is very impressed and very happy to give to us. Although he's uh, commanded us to ask the Father, he's asked us to uh, get in touch with the Father and ask the Father the things that we need. Uh, Jesus walked with his disciples on earth and everything was given to them. Jesus prays would have sufficed for all his disciples as he walked on earth and their daily needs would have been met through Jesus praying. But when he left, he was telling his disciples from now on, ask the Father in heaven. Many of us uh, pray to Jesus uh, himself and we don't pray to the Father. I know for many years I struggled with a relationship with um, the father through uh, past um, trouble with my own father and I struggled with my relationship with the father and many people who have struggled with a relationship with the father struggle with the concept of, of God being a father and this can uh, lead to them having uh, troubles praying to the father or having any sort of relationship with God the father and this is understandable but for many years I prayed to Jesus and Jesus was the person I prayed to and I got my answers from him but Jesus instructs us as good disciples to go to his father and uh, pray uh, directly to the father. Jesus is only too happy to answer our prayers but we're best to follow the commands of Jesus were best to go to the Father. Jesus uh, was very happy to help us and uh, very happy to help his disciples on earth and very willing to intercede for us to the Father. Uh, of course, in heaven, Jesus intercedes for us too uh, and uh, prays uh, especially for us. Uh, Jesus... Uh, taught his disciples in, um, in Matthew. Um, we see that uh, Jesus in the Sermon on the Mount said to his disciples, um, in this manner therefore pray, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread as we forgive our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Jesus set down that as a principle of prayer, as an example of prayer that we should do each day. But you'll notice that it was addressed to our Father in heaven. It wasn't addressed to Jesus uh, himself. He was setting a model for us to follow. Uh, prayer uh, should be part of the regular Christian life, uh, knowing uh, God the Father, knowing Jesus as his Son, uh, makes us uh, Christians and part of uh, our relationship with God is communicating with God and prayer doesn't have to be formal, dear God the Father, can you please do this and please do that. You can just have a conversation with God the Father, just like you have a friend uh, that you meet for coffee and you say hello, how was your day? You can have a conversation with God in a conversational tone and manner and uh, if you're open to it, God can speak back to you um, and, and share things with you and answer your questions. So prayer is something that there's been many books written about um, and yet um, there's still more to learn, there's more to know, there's more to grow with. Um, prayer is an exciting subject and Jesus, when he was uh, teaching on earth, directed us to his Father. 
we're Jesus' friends. He says in John 15, you're, fr you're my friends if you do whatever I command you. And so as friends and joint heirs with the Son, as joint heirs, uh, equal brothers and sisters of the Lord, we're welcome to come into the Father's presence and offer up our prayers and offer up our petitions to God. And he hears us and we know he hears us because Jesus said he would.